as a CFO issue, uh, UTC has been uh, paying down some debt. A lot of people would say in this interest rate environment, it's the time to load up on debt. Well, we, we did gorge ourselves a bit. We bought Goodrich for $18.4 billion and we borrowed 15.1. That's a lot of debt. And so our, our balance sheet went from about $11 billion of debt to over $27 billion when you add in the legacy Goodrich debt. So we've paid down $7 billion of that $27 billion. We'll pay another couple billion this year, another billion or so each of the next couple of years. And you know, quite frankly, I, I shared that, that, uh, that view that, you know, who cares, let's lever up except for those, those folks here in New York at the rating agencies, never have the rating agencies been more important than they are today. And a lot of people would say, oh, don't worry about them, lever up, or don't worry about the credit rating. Having lived through September of 2008, when the markets froze up, and I still had access to the A1P1 credit markets for, for commercial paper, we had to pay a higher rate, but we still had access. And having a solid balance sheet, right, It's it's the only way to run a big business like ours. You can't put the company at risk uh, if the financial markets, for whatever reason, outside of your control, implode, even if it's only for a couple of days. So I think you, you have to keep the rating. You have to listen to the rating agencies. And when we did the Goodrich deal, they were not happy. Right? They, they said, look, you're stretching it, you're stretching it. I said, I know, but trust me, we're going to pay the debt down. And so we're not doing a lot of share buyback. You know, we used to do two and a half or three billion. We're doing about a billion a year this year and next year. We're paying the debt down and we're not doing a lot of additional M&A. So we're going to get the balance sheet back in line. We'll go out, we'll do other deals. But for now, it's focused on really just maintaining that rating.